talking about the power of love now. I'm gonna tell you what love can do. You know when they say love makes the world go round. That's the truth. Now I want your imagination. I want you to travel with me. Here's Isaac Hayes. Isaac would come to work with a bald head, a pair of pink pants, green t-shirt, and maybe some purple shoes. <laughs> this is just a different dude. <laughs> you know, I mean, nobody like him, nobody like him. I've always been somewhat of a renegade. Creatively, I dare to go where others fear to go. Isaac would hear things that were beyond his knowledge. He was just a natural. We got to hang out with Isaac when he, he was sleeping in the back seat of a car. He got a job playing piano in the band because he told a man he could play piano. Then he went and got a piano to see if he could play it. That's right. I was a struggling musician. I had aspirations of being a superstar. I joined Floyd Newman's band. See, Floyd was on staff at Stax. So I went over as, as Floyd's keyboard player. And Jim Stewart eased up to me one day. Isaac, uh, Booker T is off in school and we don't have a staff keyboard player. Would you like the job? Yes. Yeah. Stax Records was the place to be. I had a record called Can't See You When I Want To in the early 60s on Stax Records. Uh, that was the first song that Isaac Hayes and I wrote together. But Isaac had developed quite a reputation as a, as a songwriter. If this guy was as great a writer as he was, then why not allow him an opportunity to be heard as a musician? I had been observing Isaac Hayes, his uniqueness and look. I thought just looking at him, you know, this guy can really be a superstar. That's when I put together Hot Buttered Soul. That was the beginning of a whole new era for me. Now tell me what I say. It just started my whole career, and it crossed over. If you see me walking down the street, and I start to cry each time we meet. I wasn't targeting any kind of certain market. I just wanted to do music. Shaft, I think, was my biggest commercial success. You just like, yeah, black Moses. I said, whoa, whoa, don't do that, man. That's sacrilegious. I ain't no Moses, man. Yes, you are, man. You, you, you black Moses. If I had to do it over again, I would have come the same way. It helped shape me into what I am. And I take none of it for granted. Mm -hmm. 